Alright, Shalawan, Shalawan, this is Brother Shamak. Uh, coming with you uh, with a brief uh, exhortation and edification, uh, Yahweh willing, um, through the um, start, uh, starting off with Luke chapter 8. Well, first, I want to give our glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Wakar Kadash, Barthai Yahweh, Barthai Yahweh Shah. Alright, and I also want to give. Uh, Double honors to the apostles and the elders that are, that are uh, set up and ordained to oversee the tabernacle of David in these last days. All right, and also um, humble salutation and greetings to the brothers pushing this truth in sincerity. All right, and we just get right into it. And I, um, I was meditating in the book of Luke uh, recently, and um, this sparked me in the spirit to to do a lesson. Um, concerning this parable in uh, Luke chapter 8. So I, I just get right into it. Um, this is Luke chapter 8, verse 5. All right. Luke chapter 8, verse 5. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. All right. So this is this is a parable, man. How was y'all preaching? All right. He said, um, so we we saw each and each and every each and every time we doing the work, man. We saw we saw in the seed, man. We saw in the word. All right. But some 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 fell by the wayside, man. You fall you falling out the truth, man. You lacking you lacking in the spirit. You know, you, you know what I'm saying you you bullshit. You know, you you you, you falling by the wayside. You know, and that could and that could ultimately be your how taking your spirit. And that's that's one of the biggest spirits we have us with us being in this faith, man. Being in this truth. Is your how taking our spirit, man. That's why you gotta keep oil in your lamp, man. Keep keep studying, keep building, keep praying, fasting, uh, doing the work, man. Uploading videos, going out to the highways and byways, do whatever you gotta do to make your call and election sure. Cause this ain't no game, man. We get down in the spirit at times. Do whatever you gotta do to get your spirit back up, man. But uh, I continue. I continue to go on. Verse six in Luke chapter eight, verse six. And some fell upon a walk, and as soon as it sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. See, and it didn't keep that oil in the lamp. But it's gonna give you the answer about what it's talking about in the, um, for the ed for edification sakes. All right. Luke chapter eight, verse seven. If and, and some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. All right, Luke chapter eight verse eight. And other fell, and other fell on good ground and sprang up. See the good ground, man. That's being that's his word. This good ground is word, man. That's how we. That's how we. Um, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times. Uh, Isaiah thirty three and six. We are comforted through the scriptures. First Maccabees twelve and nine. This is this is this is our peace, man. This is our this is our main this is our woman right here, man. That's why that wisdom is on um, being personified as a, a woman in on uh, in apocrypha. All right. Uh, I continue with Luke chapter eight verse eight and other and, and other fell on good ground and sprang up and bear and bear fruit a hundredfold. See, some people, uh, as the scripture says, uh, some may bring forth a hundredfold, sixtyfold, thirtyfold. That's just, that's just, that's just part of doing the work. You know, everybody's not everybody's not on the same level. Uh, level of understanding, level level on different topics or breakdowns. Everybody's not on the same level. That's the beauty of this truth, man. Once you come together as one body on one accord and one mind and one spirit, you know, you can you can do a lot, man. You can do and it's all through the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Alright. The most high in the sun. Alright, he says, I was read Luke chapter eight, verse eight, and and the other fell on good ground and sprang up and bear fruit in a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He have ears to hear, let him hear. His spiritual ear. If he have ears, let him hear. Um, verse 9. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? See, now it's going to go to edification say so what this parable actually is saying. All right. Verse 10. And he said unto you, It is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables that they that sin. They may not see and hear. They be, they may not understand. All right. So it's not meant for everybody to understand this truth. That's why it's so beautiful that he chose you. 
you know, he, or he called you. Now, chosen, that's in the, in the new, um, chosen, uh, the etymology of the word chosen is electos. Part of being that elect. See, we're we being called right now, but we got to make our call and election sure. All right, and it's all through the spirit, man. If you if you if it's if it's meant to be, you gon' you gonna stand strong. If it's not meant to be, you're gonna fall by the wayside, as Luke chapter 8 said. And it and it sucks to see that. And it's and it and it and it we um and it's, it, it puts fear in us to see that also when we see brothers uh fall out the truth or whatnot. And we gotta hope we don't fall out. That's why we gotta keep oil in our lamp. Alright. Um all right. And I continue verse 11. Now the parable is this. The seed is the soul, is the word of God. See, it's, it's the word. When we saw in the word, man, we got that teaching, getting the, getting the breakdowns, um, seeking, or even seeking the breakdowns, man. We saw in the word, man. We put it, it's like a big puzzle, an everlasting puzzle. It's always something to learn each and every day. We learn, we learn each and every day in this truth. We can never get bored in this truth, ever. You know what I'm saying? We got to, of course, we have a balance or whatnot. But it's no, it's no getting bored or complacent. You know, it's, it's always trying to get your understanding to a next level. Whether that's getting into the etymology of the Hebrew and the Greek, the geography, um, many breakdowns, man. It can be many things outside books of his of history. You know, it, it can be many things, man. Um, in verse twelve, those those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. See, their hearts, man, is being that mind. Because in, let me get it in Mark. Because um, in, in the devil, man, people deceive and all this truth. It, it happens all the time on the highways and byways, man. You may be teaching somebody, and here comes here comes somebody to distract, to distract the word, pull them away from the word. Being the devil, man. Being the devil. So as Mark 15, in Mark um, chapter 4, verse 15, I'll just read it. And these are they by the wayside. See, there's that parable in the gospel where the word is sown. So we had just sown the word. But when they have heard, say and come immediately and take it away the word that was sown in their hearts. You see, because they could be attentive, attentively um, listening and humbly listening. And then there'd be one little distraction. Um, I, remember when, um, I was on the highways and byways, um, a, a, a humble. Um, uh, Hispanic man, Northern Kingdom uh, Israelite, was was taking heed to the word, but he um another heathen, a heathen nation wanted to distract it from the word to play basketball, man. Like, come on, man, that's, that's just Satan. We, every every natural room, there's a spiritual room to it. That's just Satan, man. Simple as that. All right, but I continue to go through Luke chapter eight, verse um, I go to thirteen. All right. They on the walk are they which when they hear receive the word with joy. Because we, we received we received this truth with gladness. As Mark, I just I just read Mark is right here in my face. Mark chapter 4, verse 16. And and these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word immediately receive it with gladness. We receive this truth. When we first heard this truth, when we first um when we first heard it, man, we got we got an adrenaline rush. We got, oh yeah, this is it. This is it right here. I gotta do more research. I gotta know more and more. I gotta know more and more. You know what I'm saying? We gotta because we receive it with gladness. But if you come as we become um as we trying to endure through these uh, trials and tribulations, man, boy, it's a, it's it's something we ain't we ain't expecting. We ain't never see we ain't never see coming in this truth. All right. We gotta just keep pushing through strength, man. It's strength with the other brothers, man, and strength ultimately through the scriptures. And through the um through the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. It says, I continue to read Luke chapter 8, verse 13. And these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. See, they believe, they believe for a while, you know, a little bit. And that while could be five, ten years, a month, five months, six months. You, never, you know, that, it could be a while. They believe a while, but in temptation, when the going gets tough, you know, that could be personal or what, whatever going on. Because, you know, a lot, of, it's a lot of us, it's hard to swallow a prophecy. Even swallow the whole world, period. It says the time of temptation fall away. All right. Yeah, man. And the time of temptation fall away. When the going gets tough, man, you, you, you out you you out of it, man. Your spirit your spirit get weak. 
and they can be slowly but surely falling out the truth. Going going on um crazy doctrines, man. Joe being the eater my east side of the air. All all twelve tries of Negro. Like, you know, bro, like, bro, like, you go do the work. You're not doing the work, man. No other names, uh Ahaya, a shy man, come on, man. Just slowly but surely, man. It's bro, it's not it's not the truth, man. Alright. But yeah, in the time of temptation, fall away. You can go against tough, man. Ecclesiastes two on one. Um, you gonna you gonna serve it? Let me just get it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna but butcher the scripture. I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, man, this, this scripture gives gives us strength right here, man. It's a well known this is a well well known scripture. Alright. Ecclesiastes uh chapter two verse one. Ecclesiasticus chapter two verse one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. We gotta prepare ourselves for the for the for the tough times, man. Discipline ourselves, man. Cleanse our cleanse our mind, man. Convert our soul. All right, through the through the scriptures. All right. Verse fourteen, in in that which, Luke chapter eight verse fourteen, in that which fell among the thorns are they. Which, when they have heard, go forth and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring bring no fruit to perfection. See, you were you too. That, see, that's what you're going to you, man. You too worried about um, your future, man, in this world, man. Getting that that uh, an extra degree, uh, extra degree or whatnot. You know what I'm saying, man. You too, you too, you too fulfilled in this cares and the riches of this world, man. And this shit is temporary. But this is temporary, but you see, you keeping up with the, with the news and the prophecies, connecting it with the scriptures, it's going down, man. With all these countries, man, Russia, Syria, China, U.S., everything, man, it's, it's, it's unfolding. All these uh, earthquakes, this earthquake about to, about to um, happen, about to hit North Carolina in a few days. And judgment is going to be in a judgment, and that's going to be how judgment It's going to probably be some deaths. And then people and our people get um, and it says bring no fruit in, in, to perfection, bring forth no fruit, man. You with not doing the work because you so caught up in the, so caught up in the riches and the pleasures, having a good time and trying to live your best life. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, it, if it, if it's meant, it's meant. If it's not, it's not. You know, you gotta just pray that you endure to the end and should be uh, to be saved, man. This is, let me get that. Um, let me get that Timothy, man. It's, it sucks to see, man. I believe for a while. It's Second Timothy chapter four, verse three. All right. It says, "Let me get four, verse two. Let me just start at two. Preach the word. Be innocent." In Instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, extort with all long suffering and doctrine. All right, doing the work, man. Non-stop. In the season, out of season. This is non-stop. Whether you rebuking, encouraging, that's the exhortation. Encouraging, rebuking, you know, reproving, you know, your brothers or whatnot. Doing it all, man. Doing the work. In verse three, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. They will not endure. What's, what's in these scriptures, man? All right. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. See, getting tossed to and fro for doctrine, man. You don't know what you don't know what you what you got going on. And it says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And it shall be turned into, unto fables. All right. Because man, it's only it's only one it's only one sound doctrine. It's only one sound doctrine with this with these scriptures, man. One sound doctrine. You got you got you better hope you teaching the sound doctrine. And you better keep digging. You better keep digging for that understanding and praying for that understanding, and, and um and and seeking um under the right man of the Lord for that for that true guidance through the scriptures, through the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right, because the man that that's who's gonna guide us to salvation, but we all we also got to understand we work out our own salvation. You got to do your own work in this truth, man. 
whether you in the camp or not. You know. All right. But I, I wanted to get um with that with that with that uh second Timothy four and three. I might as well get uh Luke fourteen and fourteen and twenty eight. Fourteen twenty eight is a powerful scripture too. All right. For which of you intending to build a tower? See, we intending to build, man, to get stronger in this truth and this faith. All right. And doing doing whatever 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 is necessary. All right. Sit them not down first, but count up the cost. We gotta count the cost in this truth, man. That pleasures in in the cares of this in the riches of this world. Man, you gotta count the cost, man. You 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 probably won't be able to work those two jobs for that money, man. You gotta have time to you gotta have time for these scriptures, man. You see, it, it could be it could be anything, man. You gotta have a balance, man. A false balance, man, is abomination to the Lord, man. It says, For which of you intending to build a tower, sit them not down first to count up the cost, whether he, whether he have sufficient to finish it. <laughs> Alright. We gotta endure to the end to be saved. We gotta endure to the end to be saved, man. And also with that falling up, man. Falling, bro, that's the worst thing, man. Falling amongst the thorns, man. Falling on the rock, man. Bro, that's like the worst thing, bro. For the lack of better terms. That's what we fear, man. That's what we fear. I, we pray to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shot that this is never happen to um that doesn't happen to us, man. Remain humble. Or get humble. Alright. This is second um second Peter. Second Peter chapter three verse seventeen. Ye therefore be loved, seeing seeing ye know these things be before, beware lest ye also being led away with error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. Alright. And I want to get the etymology uh, of steadfastness uh, in Second Peter chapter three. Alright, your own steadfastness. Let me get that. Alright, this is in the blue letter. Um, Alright. Strong's G4740. Static Moss. Static Moss. Static Moss. Static Moss. Alright. Firm condition of mind. Stability. See, you going off, it says far from your own um, state um, of your own firm condition of mind. See? You going off your of your own your own desires and pleasures, and that's the flesh. That's not even the spirit got you. That's the flesh, man. So you can fall, you can be led to error. And you're not if you're not in the, do, dealing with the spirit. You dealing with your own firm condition of your mind of that own steadfastness. All right, and we gotta you gotta dig in the etymology of these words to get the true to get the true understanding of these scriptures. And it takes and it takes hell of time, but we gotta do it though, man. We gotta be dedicated. Alright. I want to uh I I wanted to keep going with Luke. I want to get back in Luke chapter 8, verse 15. But that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart. See, that's being that sincere, man. You're not doing this for no uh uh views or likes on social media or YouTube or whatnot, man. You're doing this in sincerity, man. You truly trying to push his word. Cause you know it, you know what 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 um what time we in. It's high time to wake out of sleep, man, knowing that our salvation is near. That's what that's what that's what it is, man. That truth, that honest and sincerity. We don't we don't we can't man, you can get all them views, man. How many was he elect? You know what I'm saying, man? We we you gotta just push this truth, man. You never know who's watching, you never know who who needs it. And you never know who it's ordained for. We out here for the elect, man. He did, he's, he's, making, uh, he's calling the man. Alright. He says, but that on a good ground are they which in, in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. We gotta have patience, man. We gotta have patience. That's his part, that's his part, that's what that's is what part of the faith. That's part of the faith, man. You gotta have patience. And bring forth fruit, man. You gotta you gotta bring forth fruit. Alright. Um, we keep going, verse 16. No man would, when he have lighted lighted a candle, cover it with a vessel, or put it under their bed, but set of it on a candlestick, 
that they which enter in may see the light. See, we gotta let your we gotta let our light shine. Let me get that with Matthew uh, five and sixteen. Let your let your light shine. We cannot be. We can't fear. It's no fear, man. Let your light shine. Go on the highways and byways. You gotta do a solo dolo. Do a solo dolo. You know what I'm saying? Do do the work, man. Do the work. Man. All this all this talking and cheerleading all the time, man. Cause that's what having a lot of is. All the commenting and yeah, man. I see you, man. Do the work with me. Forget seeing me. Do the work with me. All right. It can be a man. Stay hard on yourself, man. The truth, the, the, the scripture is going to humble the spirit and the scripture is going to humble you already. You know, but also stay hard on yourself. Push your, push yourself. All right. But this is, but this is um, Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your glorify your father which is in heaven. See, glorify Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah because it's all through the spirit. It's all through him that, we, that we're able to even, to even see what's in these scriptures because it's spiritual. It's people, it's people that read this whole book and don't know what it's talking about. It's Christians. Indoctrinated, man. They don't know. Yeah, they wouldn't know what it's talking about. We gotta let our we gotta let our light shine. And don't and don't fear that. And don't fear that and don't fear that shine, man. Put it under bed. You be ashamed of uh, of his for his gospel's sake, man. You 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 will have no reward. And that's in um that's in the gospel. It's in the scriptures. Alright. Verse, uh, y'all want to keep going. Verse, uh, 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. All right. Verse 18. Take heed, therefore, how ye hear. For whosoever have to him shall be given. And whosoever have not, for him shall be taken even that which he seemed to have. See, those people that follow amongst the thorns in the rock, man, they, they seem they, they seem like they had the faith. They seem like they had the, the spirit of them Karkadash. All right, but I mean, clearly they did, cause they didn't endure to the end. However long may time they seem to have the spirit or whatnot, you better just pray you got the spirit. For real, man. He said, "Take ye, take heed, therefore, how ye hear. For whosoever have to whom to him shall be given. To whom much is required, much is, but to whom much is given, much is required." If you able to see these breakdowns, see these the um the un understanding of these scriptures, man, go put forth your good works. And if you can't, man, pray on it, fast on it, seek. You gotta seek your how about you, how shot, man. It's, let me get that uh, in Ecclesiastes since it, since this can since it came to my head. This is Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse twenty eight. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. See, strive for the truth unto death. Strive for the truth unto death, man. All right. Verse eighteen. Hold on, let me. I think I want to get uh, another another. Let me get uh, Romans with that with that uh, verse eighteen. Man, follow most of thorns, man. It's, it's terrible, man. Romans chapter 16 verse 17 Now I beseech you brethren Mark them which cause divisions And offenses Contrary To the doctrine which ye have learned And avoid them See you gotta avoid those all oh, man Like I stated earlier You saw the air man avoid Man that's nonsense man You don't have no understanding of the scriptures man And you can just You can tell uh, by the countenance uh, of, the, of, the, uh, of the spirit you just tell by the spirit, you got man, it's something off, man. He's off. He's going off. You just gotta go off the spirit. Which ye have learned and avoid them, man. Just avoid them, man. At least like we avoid foolish questions, man. Avoid them, man. That's all that is. Let me see if I wanna go back there. Let's see if I wanna uh um, that thing I wanna did I wanna pre sell Um, Mark 4 and 17 And have no root in themselves And so endure but for a time See it's only for but Just like Luke The parable Luke said Man it's only, it was only for a time That he seemed to have the uh, the spirit You see them falling amongst the thorns man That's that's, a, that's, a, that's something tough to swallow man tough to, That's something tough to see 
see one of your brothers fall out of the truth, man, that's it, boy. They have no root in themselves and so endure, but for a time afterward, when when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. See, when it's time, when it's time to really all that talking, because we, we do a lot of talking right now. We're going to see, we're going to see who buy that life and when, it, um, when that martial art come through the streets. Who still, who, who not going to take that chip, the RFID chip, that mark of the beast. You know what I'm We're going to see who bought that life then. That's that, that's that hour of temptation in that day, kicking down them houses as it, as it was stated in 2nd uh, Edges, uh, chapter 16, in the last days. And Northern Kingdom already getting their house kicked in, man. You just keep up with the news. All right. Yeah, for the for the words sake, and it's, and it's gonna and it's gonna be for the words sake. Cause they gonna seek out, they gonna seek out the um, children of Israel that's trying to keep these commandments. As it is, um, if it's stated, I think it's stated in uh, Revelations. The ones trying to keep the commandments. You see, we gonna when that man that affliction and persecution, man, when that when they arising for this word, man, we are gonna see, we are gonna see who bought that life, man. Who really for you? How about Shimmy? How is shot? You ready to? You gotta be ready to die for them. We just get that in Psalms. Let me bring that all the time in Israel. Psalms one one sixteen verse fifteen. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of His saints. One to die for this truth. Strive for the truth unto death. All right. Strive unto the truth unto death, man. That's some, that could be some long endurance, man. You got to keep your faith strong. Keep that oil in your lamp. So you don't fall amongst the, thor the thorns and the rock, man. Stand on the good ground of these scriptures. I want to, uh, 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. All right. But, hold on. I think I also wanted to, I think I wanted to get the etymology in this scripture, too. But this is First Timothy chapter five verse eight. But if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house, he have denied the faith and is worth in the infidel, or in the for in the etymology that word infidel. See, you're not providing, man. You're not put for those good works. Oh, I lost them. Hold on, it's lucky. First Timothy chapter five. Let's get, let's get the etymology of that word infidel. All right, the pistols. Let's see. Strong's G five seventy one. Apistos. 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 All right, unfaithful. See, you have denied. You have denied the faith. Unfaithful. Unbelieving. So it's just like you was. It's like you was a two thirds. It was better you that uh, to not even know the truth from the beginning, you know. But it's all Yahweh's willing. It's all Yahweh about you, Yahweh shot. It's all His will, you know. So it's unfaithful, not to be trusted, unbelieving. See, that's what that's what that is, man. You you not for His own house, man, and what in that house of Israel, man. All right. And that was that was him. Yahweh shot Mashiach discussing um. Um, that work, man, of being a good minister, man. All right. Not only being a, uh, let me get that in James, because that came to my head too. Um, not only a hero of the word, but a doer. You got to do the work. You can't just be, um, just watching videos all day. You know what I'm saying? Think you know everything. Go do the work. Put your, put your, put your, um, if you truly believe in it, man, go put, go put forth your works. Upload some videos, edifications for the ones that may not know the truth or may, or may, or may, or may lack faith or build your faith or keep the oil in your lamp, you know, but this is James chapter one, verse 22, but be ye, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your, deceiving your own selves. See, that's, that's like the Christian church, man. They don't believe this word for real. They got blind faith, man. Because they got blind leaders also. That spiritual darkness, man. He says, For for if any be a hero of the word and I adore, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. 
for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way in straight for in in straight in straight way forgive what manner of man he was. See, verse twenty five. But whosoever looketh into the per, but whosoever looketh into the perfection and law of liberty and continue there, he being not a forgetful here, but a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in in his in his deed. See, you do the work, man. You go, you gonna get your you gonna get your own reward. And that's that's what it's all about, man. Pushing it, pushing this truth in these last days, because it's gonna become a famine of the world. We're not gonna be able to push this truth. We're not gonna be able to get the edification that we were seeking and that, you know, that we that we were seeking now. All right. This made this. Follow us thorns, man. That's something scary to see, man. Just keep the faith, man. Stand on that and stand solid on that, uh, on that sound doctrine. That sound doctrine, man. But this is brother Shamak, man. I just want to get uh, just going to that, going to the, going to that parable in Luke, man. It just, it just sparked, it just sparked the spirit in me to go into it, you know, because we see it all the time, Israel, man. People go off on, on, on um. And make offenses to the to the sound doctrine, all right. And the, and, and some you can see slowly but surely falling out, man. Lacking faith, lacking 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 the uh, taking the heed, lacking the spirit, period. Lacking the workar kadosh, all right. But it's all glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, workar kadosh. Bark that Yahweh, bark that Yahweh Shah, bark that Yahweh, bark that Yahweh Shah, all right. As I say, shalom.